One of the main devices we use to detect particle trajectories are cloud chambers and the like. So do we actually see the Bohmian trajectory of a single particle there? Cloud chambers are usually used to detect the trajectory of uh, a particle in a scattering experiment. In this case, the particle really passes where you see it. But you should note uh, that the track the particle leaves in the cloud chamber is much bigger than the diameter of an atom. It is so big that you can see it with your naked eye. Therefore, the accuracy of a cloud chamber is not very good. Moreover, one could ask if the tracks one sees in the cloud chamber are close to the trajectories uh, the particle would follow if the cloud chamber was not there. The biggest influence of the cloud chamber on the particle is to disturb interference phenomena. Thus, in situations where interference plays no essential role, the effect of the cloud chamber on the motion of the particles is negligible. For a scattered particle far away from the scattering target, this condition is satisfied and you really observe the Bohmian trajectory with a negligible uh, disturbance. On the contrary, in situations where interference matters, then the observer tracks will differ from the Bohmian trajectories one would have without the cloud chamber. So, for example, if you perform a double slit experiment inside a cloud chamber, you will completely destroy the interference pattern.